Hey, Dad, let me interrupt you for a sec. Let's go back to um, your, your dad. So, do you remember your dad's brothers and sisters, your aunts and uncles? Yeah. Who, who were oh, they? My father, I'm sorry, my, <laughs> okay. my father, my father had a brother. His name was Warwick. And his wife's name was B. Did he have a sister at all? No. And your mom? My mom had, my mother, maiden name was Neiman, and she had five sisters. Lottie. That's okay. Was Lottie married? No. Lottie and Flora, Flora was married, and she had two children. Cora was married, and she had three boys, Morley, Byron, and Jerry. What was the name of the Havenstein? I can't remember her name. Oh, that's okay. You come back yeah. to That's back a long I know it is. So do you, do you remember your great-grandparents at all? No, I don't. But I do remember my grandparents on my father's side. Her name was Susan, and my father's father's name was Bob. So be your great grandfather then, or your grandfather? My, my grandfather was Bob. And my grandfather was six six, weighed approximately two hundred and fifty pounds. And you know what those uh, big bottles of pop look like? They're about that big. They called them jumbos back then, and they were beer. And my father, my grandfather, would sit in this chair when he came home from work and consume two of those jumbo beers. In two swallows, he had one jumbo bottle gone <laughs> and the second one gone and two more swallows. And on this front porch, he owned a parrot. And approximately 3.13 every day, the parrot sat on the porch and he would yell, Here comes Bob! Here comes Bob! And my grandfather would be walking down the street about a block from home and he would see them coming into the driveway and up the porch. They lived in River Rouge for approximately 45 years. You mentioned that your, your dad was from born in Ireland? My father was born in Ireland in Belfast. Oh, in Belfast? Yes. Did they, so how old was he when they moved here then? I think he was eight or nine years old and he came into New York at the with Ellis Island and I had a plaque put at Ellis Island with his name on it the year he came into the United States him and his brother also when I had a plaque put on for my father I also had a, pla a plaque put on on Ellis Island for Joanne's father who came into America from Italy Oh, very nice. So the kids could maybe go there to Ellis Island if they wanted to and look the it up. The children someday. could go to Ellis Island and see the plaques of both grandfathers there.